today we study surface integral in this surface integral we go through the gauss divergence theorem it is also called as a divergence theorem before going for the divergence theorem we go through the some prerequisites first of all we go through some diagrams under certain conditions they are given some standard diagrams which cut the x axis which cut the y axis which cut the some planes now how to draw first of all this diagram then only we are able to find and surface integral draw the following surfaces draw cube bounded by x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 y equal to 0 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 0 z is equal to 1 so first of all we draw the x y z axis as x is equal to 0 y equal to 0 z is equal to 0 that means one corner of a cube is at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 also x is equal to 1 means the length of a cube at x is equal to 1 means one side is length is 1 y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1 so this is how first of all we fix the intersecting point of a cube along the x axis y axis and z axis so first of all we complete this cube along the x z plane Now we connect this. So this is how we get a cube. So what are the coordinates of this cube? The corner coordinates are one, zero, one. As this point is one, zero, zero. This point is zero, one, zero. Therefore, this point is one, one, zero. now this point is 0 0 so this point is 0 1 1 this point is origin that is 0 0 0 and this point is nothing but 1 1 1 so this is nothing but a cube bounded by x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 y equal to 0 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 now to draw the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to a square and z is equal to 0 and z is equal to h first of all we draw the x y z plane now in this x y z plane first of all we have a cylinder x square plus y square is equal to a square means we have to draw a circle of radius a in xy plane so this is nothing but a circle in xy plane of radius a this is nothing but radius a now what we required we required a cylinder at z is equal to 0 means we have to start from the xy plane and the height of this cylinder is h so we have to consider here suppose h so the height of cylinder is has to be this is supposed to be h so this point is nothing but h that is z is equal to h so this is what we required in this question that is cylinder x square plus y square is equal to a square at z is equal to 0 and z is equal to h now we want to draw tetrahedron bounded by x is equal to 0 y equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and x plus y plus z is equal to 1 now before draw the tetrahedron we want to find out an intersecting point of this tetrahedron to the x axis to the y axis and to the z axis so we want to find out 
intersection to the x-axis so we substitute y equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 so whenever we substitute y equal to 0 z is equal to 0 in x plus y plus z is equal to 1 we get x is equal to 1 so the intersecting point is one zero zero similarly when we substitute x is equal to zero y equal to zero we get a point that is zero zero and z is equal to one now when we substitute x is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, we get y is equal to 1, that is 0, 1 and 0. Now we get an four point. One is x is equal to 0, y equal to 0, z is equal to 0 means it is origin and remaining threes are 1, 0, 0 along the x axis, 0, 1, 0 along the y axis and 0, 0, 1 along the z axis. Now we study so first of all we consider x y z axis now we consider all those four points so first point is 0 0 0 0 second point is 1 0 0 along the x axis third point is 0 1 0 along the y axis and the fourth point is 0 0 1 along the z-axis now we connect these points so this is nothing but the required tetrahedron now we want to draw the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to a square above the plane z is equal to 0 that means we want to draw the sphere of a radius a above the plane z is equal to 0 means in x y plane so first of all we consider x y z plane now before going for the sphere we draw and circle in x y plane with the radius e so we draw the circle of radius e this is how we draw the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to x square above the plane z is equal to 0 first of all we draw x y z plane now to draw this plane above the x o y means x y plane first of all we substitute x is equal to 0 and y equal to 0 into x square plus y square equal to z square so we get 0 plus 0 is equal to z square that implies z is equal to 0 means the vertex of a cone is at 0 0 now to draw this cone what we have the z is equal to 4 the power bound is z is equal to 4 so the plane z is equal to 4 cut the cone at z is equal to 4 so we draw the cone like this so this is nothing but z is equal to 4 so this is nothing but a circle of radius z is equal to 4 that is 4 so this is what we required and this is nothing but our plane at z is equal to 4 and this is nothing but our required cone Thank you. Visit again. In next video, we actually study how to apply Gauss Divergence Theorem or Divergence Theorem. Thank you very much.